Hello everybody, we Paddy from Professor Chuck. Another wee video today. And I think over the next few days, I'm trying to clear up little videos that I've meant to do and I've put off. Um, one of them is about this wee knife. Great wee knife. There was, there's no reflection on the knives. It's just bits and pieces I've let build up and I haven't got done. So I've got this knife and I've got another three or four wee bits of EDC stuff that I've got and I've been using so I can talk about them and not just reveals. I can... Um, and I can give good honest opinions on them. So, but first of all, I'm going to talk about this. This is one of the Wii Fura knives. Um, I got mine from Gearbest. It has Serge Panachensko's uh, name there. Don't particularly like it. There's no need. They call it a Fura knife. They could have put Fura there. But, you know, to me, that's that's fine. Um, I paid £17 for this, which is about $20 delivered. And I got it because the last one I had was the one that had a spear point. And to be honest, it wasn't it was too small to be of any particular use. The spear point I found for what I use for boxing or cutting round things, the, the spear blade wasn't good at it. This Warncliffe, it's the most beautiful Warncliffe coming down here. And funny, there is a little slight belly of the knife. Um, I just hope you can see it. Ever so slight, but it's that lovely Warncliffe. And for detailed work, this is lovely. Now, it's a little slip joint. It runs on a detent ball. This is your your um, stop. And it's got a little hole in there. And I'm trying to do this backwards. And it's, I'm not very good at that. So it pulls out. And the wee detent ball is on the back here. And that's the track of it on the back there. You can see the wee track where the D10 ball goes. And this goes in and you can hear it hitting again. Open it up and now it's not very strong. So to be honest with you, when I'm doing cutting with this, I normally have my both fingers on either side of the blade here so that it's not going to uh, come down on me. If I'm worried at all, if you hold the back where the detent is, it's very difficult to put that down. Very, very difficult. You'd have to put an awful lot of pressure. So if you're having to extend, just hold the back and you'll be fine. But it is a marvellous knife. And with S35VN, and I I kind of believe it is that, um, through other people's reports and my own use of it, it's sharper than all my other knives. Do you know what I mean? And I've got a couple of yours and they're all the same. They are extremely sharp. They take a great edge and, and they do last an awful long while. This one... Um, I've just got some uh, paper here. Can you hear that? It's literally silent cutting through paper. Absolutely beautiful. So I got this as my secondary EDC. Um, as you know, I love my secondary EDC. This is a great one because it weighs nothing. If you're in joggers bottoms, I love this on me, round the house in jogger bottoms. Or if I'm going out, I'll just throw it in the pocket and then I have a larger knife with it. Um, the fit, the finish is absolutely fine. I've had no problem whatsoever. You can take it apart, and I have done before, not with this one, with the other one. I took it apart and put it back together again. No problem whatsoever. The screws did not seem to be soft, but then again, I used a half decent screws, a uh, screwdriver. So um, it's fine, absolutely fine. Would I recommend this for $20, 17 pound? 100% recommend it. It is a little cotton machine. It genuinely is. I love the shape of that blade. It can get into anywhere. I just love it. And the fact that it's just a, you can just do it with one hand. Um, it is a lovely little knife. So I highly recommend that. I know people don't like that and never buy it because of that. And I accept that. Absolutely fine. Each to their own. It doesn't particularly bother me. Um, that's funny. I went and had a look at what price uh, the, the the real model is, and it's over three hundred pound for a knife just about this size. So I'll never be spending that on it. <laughs> so there we go. Um, you'll either love it or hate it. One of the two. I love it. I recommend it fully because it's not it's not the first one I've had. Fura have got a a pretty good reputation in my head because um, I think that's about four now I've had, and they've all been reasonably. They're all been very good, not reasonably good. All been very good. So. Highly recommend that one. It's just more of a change than it is uh, something fresh to me. But I have been using it now. Gosh, I've had that over a month now. And I keep meaning to do a review on it, but I never got around to it. So we'll go there. And then next, what have I got next to tell you about? I talked about this 
This is the Amtec um, diamond sharpener. I had, I don't know, I'll just give a wee quick brief. I had bought the DMT um, sharpening stone, this sort of shape, but it was the fine, an extra fine. And I needed um, a course or extra course, but I didn't want to go and spend, I know it was 40 odd pound to get the, the course and the extra course one. I thought I'll try one of the cheaper ones first, just because I don't do a, a whole lot of it. Most of the time, fi the fine and extra fine, which is 600 and a thousand. That does for me. I don't let my knives get any more blunt that I can't bring them back from 600. But I've actually started doing older knives now. If I find them, I'll do them up and sharpen them. So I needed something a wee bit sharper, but I didn't know whether I wanted to jump yet into the heavier stones. Don't forget, I have I have also got just ordinary stones, wet stones, um, that I can use. But I seen this one, and this one is the Amtec. It cost five dollars four pound, and it's two forty and four hundred. Um, the two forty is a a smooth, and the four hundred is there. So that works out absolutely brilliant. I got two forty, four hundred. I've got a six hundred and a thousand. So that's taken me right up the progression to get a good sharp um, blade and then straight on to this drop from a thousand. Um, that does most of my knives. I don't need to go any higher than that. Um, again, I can do because I've got stones that I can go to if I need it, but this is just for everyday sharpening. So that's it. Uh, to be honest with you, the thing that I've learned about these is no pressure. And I had them before I got into hand sharpening that much and I was digging in and trying to sharpen see little pressure let it do all the work and I have sharpened a couple of knives on that and you can barely see it now obviously I cleaned it but that's been used both sides and uh, you can hardly see any marks at all and it's still working really well so if I get six months out of it for five that's not bad you know what I mean I might just think of keeping it but or getting another one but we'll, let, we'll see how it goes and I can report back over time I know that's probably not very interesting most people, but I mean, to me, for a five or, you know, for five dollars, four pound, it's, it's a great, um, if you're on a budget, go ahead. I would recommend that so far. The next one is a little, this little pen. I put a wee, um, put a paracord in the end of this one because it is a wee small one. It's a Rufus, R-O-F-I-S. It's an ER3A, so it takes a triple A battery. And you get about a hundred lumens somewhere around there. It's a wee turny head one. Oh, there we go. Um, and that, it's a real good bright. Now this is the the neutral, not the bright white. This is more lifelike light, um, but very powerful. I think you'll agree for such a wee small torch. Um, I haven't got run times yet for it. I haven't done. I will do that, but I haven't as yet done that. So that one cost me. That was that was a more expensive one. That was about seven pound nine dollars for that. But I, I got it because it was blue. I love blue um, to go with some of my blue knives. This is another one now. I'll bring this up close to you. This is just a generic model on Gearbest. If you go into flashlights, you'll see lots of these. There's a, a longer one that takes two triple A's. This one just takes a single triple A. It's got a clicky button on the top. There's only the one mode. And this is the... Is it the clear white they call it? It's nearly a, a bit of a blue tinge to it, but it's a really powerful little light. Um, especially when you hear what price this cost. And it's got a clip, which is, you can take it off, turn it around the other way and put it on your hat. So this cost £1.50 or $2, right? I've had this now quite a while. I, I can't remember how long, but it is quite a while. I've had them before. This is just a new one I got, which I wanted to see if they still had the same quality. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. In fact, it's 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 a little bit brighter than this. Um, so for one fifty or $2, do you know what I mean? You, you just can't beat that. And this is um, aircraft grade aluminium. I mean, it, it, you can drop this thing about. It's not going to do it any harm. Um, so there we go. That's another one. I highly recommend them. I do have a few and I have them in packs. So there is a longer one and you get a longer, obviously, runtime with the two AAA batteries um, if you're going to put it in a pack. But this is great because I always carry a spare AAA battery with me if I'm carrying a torch. 
Now, next on the list. This is an absolute, I love this. This is a zebra pen. Now, I'm sure everybody knows about zebra pens, except me. I've been looking for more. I've got one of the space pens, but to be honest, it was quite expensive. And when I'm out running about, I really don't want to take, it's a lovely brass one. I really do like it. And it's my sort of dress up going out one, but I needed another wee pen that I can just throw in my pocket and I wouldn't worry if I lost it. Well, this was, I got this in the sales there for two ninety nine, And if I show you how it works now, if you've seen it before, this is going to bore you. But all you do, if, if, if I show you this first, that's what be writing with the size that it is. That is it when I pull it up. Isn't that just a great extension? Um, and I'll put this down and I'll show you how it works. So, as you're pulling it out, the pen itself comes out at the end. And as you put it down, it goes away. Isn't that clever? So I think that's about, what is that, about 10 centimetres? Well, about nine and a half, nine and a half centimetres, 10 centimetres um, long. Absolutely love it. Great writer. And it came with, now they're not particularly long, but it came with two spare black cartridges, ink cartridges to go with the one that was in it. So I think for 2 99 that's a great bet. And for EDC, it just doesn't get any better. Whether you're going to put it in your suit pocket, shirt, shirt pocket would be brilliant. It's so short. Um, you don't have to extend it. But uh, So highly recommend that. That again is the Zebra Pen. Lovely. And there's lots of different colours in it as well. I'm getting a blue one very shortly and a purple one. <laughs> so that's that. Now I have one more thing and it's in my pocket today because it's my... I'm in my trackies and I've been doing a review on this. This one I put in this morning. This is the wee bug knife from um, Gearbest. And this one only costs oh, £4, I think. And this is the one with that lovely little clip blade. Uh, I've been using this regularly now. I've sharpened it and blunted it and sharpened it and blunted it. It's an absolute corker. I love that clip blade. I've never, ever, ever really liked it clip baits until recently and the traditional traditional knives are calling me I really can't see me getting there again this is only about 11 centimeters long so it's a lovely small knife fold it nearly in half because it's nearly a full length and it's what six centimeters it just drops in your pocket again when I've got something as small as that the same as the wee light I'll just have a wee bit of paracord on just to help me pull it out of the pocket if I've got other junk in my pocket so you'll recognize that if you go on gear best it's got the wee ant on it oh there we go you'll see the wee ant but lovely lovely and it's a lock back it locks back securely but that clip is just gorgeous who was it stassa used to say he loves a clip blade i just look for such a small knife and four pound it's a sand remove so you just can't go wrong you cannot go wrong with a sand remove that should be my dying call right folks that's it um what's coming up what's coming up is i'm going to do probably just after christmas i'm going to do my best four knives of this four month period and then at the end of december beginning of january i'll do my knife of the year which um i'm really looking forward to because there's great competition there so i'll probably do that over two videos i'll get it down from 12 down to four and then we'll do a face-off with the four. And uh, I'll pick my winner from that. 12 to 4. That's a big jump, isn't it? Yeah. But we'll do that. Two videos is fine. So we'll do that um, either the end of the year or the very early part of next year. Um, within a day or two. And that's about it. I have some new things coming. Um, I've got the cut jack coming. Um, what else have I got? Probably a couple of wee things I'll get for Christmas. Um... Not a whole lot, to be honest, not as I'm sitting here thinking, but the things that I get for Christmas and whatever. So the channel's going lovely. I, I am just so pleased. I've got over the 600 mark now. Um, it just seems to be jumping and bounding out of my control. Um, I'm still getting the answer, everybody, in the first couple of days. Um, I might miss the odd one after that because, it's you know, I've, I've usually made, by the time two videos are up, I, I've gone too far. I can't catch up then. Uh, so you excuse me if I don't get you after that. But if you if you write a comment in the first couple of days, I very, very rarely miss it. 
um, I'm still managing to keep up and I'll keep doing that as long as I possibly can because it's only fair I think if people take the time to watch I'll take the time to answer if you're going to comment so that's about it um, if I don't see you beforehand I know a lot of people break up and maybe go away for Christmas and whatever and I just want to say for those of you who will not see I'll be here and I'll, I'll make a wee video on Christmas Day I just want to say thank you so much you have made this year amazing for me and it's not because of anything I've done it's because you and if you're not there and if I didn't get the feedback and if I didn't get I, I've just I, I still believe I have the best YouTube following I, I just love my crowd of people. They're just my crowd of people. I'm sounding like a leader now. Um, <laughs> um, I, I do. I just love all of you. And, and I love communicating with you. I love finding out a wee bit about your lives. Um, and I like you finding a bit about my life. So probably in the new year, we'll do another um, talk back where we'll sit down and have a chat. You can ask questions. I'll answer them. We'll put that in for the new year at some stage. Um, and other than that, the channel's not going to change much because I'm always going to do budget knives. All right, I might get the odd one that's up in the mid-range and, and that'll be lovely and I'll enjoy that and I'll enjoy showing it um, next year because I do want to see if I can get a wee bit, you know, more 50, 60 pound mark, 70 pound mark. I would love to get a couple of them sort of knives. I want to get a couple of traditionals. So, yes, there will be ones that are that are going to be a wee bit more expensive. But the biggest majority of my channel is going to be budget and budget things like I showed there tonight. These are all of the things that I go on and love going on Gearbest and I get as much pleasure shopping for these things as I do for anything else. Do you know what I mean? I just love getting a wee bargain. They are just amazing. I don't know why more people haven't got them. They really are class. These wee knives, if you're caught short and that's all you've got, my goodness, you, you, there's not much that wee knife won't do. It is a smashing knife. So, and the other one, the wee pocket, the wee sand removes the same. Now, the blade, same, the blade steel is not as good, but uh, that will get you through the day's work, all right. So, take care and waffling as usual. Thank you so much. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Or whatever your faith is, or if you have no faith, just have a really good break over the Christmas period. And, and, and if you're a believer like myself, this is a time for deep reflection on who you are and what you want for the coming year and to, to re renew renew your vows if you like so god bless you take care i don't want to become an all christianly on the that's not me but I, it is my faith and this is a big part of the year for me so take care everybody and i'll if i don't see you before christmas or over the christmas period have a wonderful time and i'll see you in the new year don't drink too much don't eat too much Leave that to me. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Paddy's away.